This video is sponsored by Olney. More on them later in the video. Well, good morning. It has been a while since I've shot a vlog style video like I'm doing today. And I thought that this week would be a good time to do a day in the life because I have a lot of little things going on today. I harvested the last of our oranges, which it's a really late time to be harvesting oranges for us in California. Uh, but we had a few left on the tree. And so I'm gonna be making marmalade, a last batch of marmalade today. Um, which I will link for you my recipe for making that in the description box below. It is absolutely delicious, but I'm gonna be making that here shortly after breakfast, um, which I'm gonna have first really quickly. I have my coffee going, and then after that, I'm going to be actually cutting the orange tree a little bit just to trim it up so that I can add some lights. We have a uh, party that I am planning for this evening. It is a surprise pizzeria pool party that I am throwing for my daughter who just graduated from high school. It's so crazy for me to even say that she's actually graduating a year earlier uh, than we anticipated, but she had more credits um, than we thought at the beginning of the year and she was able to finish up early. So I'm super proud of her. I'm a little bit sad that homeschool's over, but also kind of happy about it too. So it's a little bit of both going on, but yeah, I'm doing a little surprise party for her here later and I'm gonna try my best to remember to have my camera just to get a little bit of shots once I'm done setting everything up, just to show you. Um, uh, so yeah, so I hope you enjoy today's video and coming along with me and let's get started. One of my favorite breakfasts lately is cottage cheese and tomato slices or cherry tomatoes like I'm gonna use today. And I basically top the cottage cheese with the cherry tomatoes or sliced tomatoes, add some salt and pepper, a little drizzle of olive oil, and it is the best breakfast in my opinion. After breakfast, I started on the orange marmalade and I begin basically by pouring some water into a stock pot because I'm going to boil the jars that I'm going to put the marmalade in. So I'm going to get that going. The process for making marmalade is pretty simple and again you can find the recipe that I use in the description box below. Uh, I love this recipe and I'm glad to be able to share it finally on the blog with you. I basically just grind up all the oranges that I have here in my food processor. I cook them with some sugar and some lemon juice. You do not need pectin for marmalade which is really nice so it's very simple ingredients and it makes a very beautiful golden delicious marmalade that is really fun to share with other people.
like to do what's called hot packing my jams or marmalades when I make them just because it's a lot simpler to me. Uh, I just basically sterilize the jars like I've done here and then I pour the hot marmalade directly into them and then place the lid on pop them upside down and then wait about 24 hours uh, just until that center seal no longer pushes down on the lid and that has been a very effective way to store my jams and marmalades. Now I'm going to get our back porch ready for the party later and I really need to pick things up back here and just do some sweeping and little things like that but more importantly I need to get this orange tree trimmed because you can't even walk under it currently it's just hanging so low so that's what I'm doing is just going to trim this up really good so that way I could make it part of the decoration by hanging our pinata and uh, putting some string lights up too. I want to take just a moment to tell you about our sponsor today. Olney is a company that provides string lighting for home and outdoor use, which is perfect for the garden, patio, or hanging in a tree like I'm doing today. These outdoor bulbs I'm hanging are waterproof, shatterproof, and they're weather resistant, so I feel good about leaving them up. And the best part is they provide a beautiful glow to the areas they are placed in with their energy efficient LED bulbs. If you are interested in dressing up your outdoor space, I will provide a 15% off coupon code along with the link in the description box below. After cleaning up the patio and getting everything prepped for later, I am going to make some lettuce wraps for lunch. I use ground chicken for mine. I've been using recently. I think it's a lot easier than using chicken breast. I don't have a particular recipe to share with you today, but this is a very quick and delicious lunch of just ground chicken, ginger, garlic, grated carrot, green onion. I have sesame oil, soy sauce, and of course salt and pepper. Then I have some lettuce I'm going to be cleaning up in just a moment, and it's a very simple delicious lunch to make that is ready pretty quickly.
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed your time here. And also thank you to Olney again for sponsoring today's video. Have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you on the next one.